back for another episode of My Dream 18. I'm at the Hamptons Golf Club, hole number seven, which happens to be my seventh hole of My Dream 18. I don't know what's up with myself and all these elevated tee shots, but I guess they just look really good. And this hole is a great example of that. Not the longest par five, but it's demanding. And the risk reward components of this hole are really good. Hit two really good shots, you're almost guaranteeing yourself a birdie on this hole, but hit something a little bit wayward and really easy to make a bogey worse. You wanna favor the left side of this fairway as you can kind of see this cart path. Everything kind of slopes a little bit and kicks to the right, which will leave you for your second shot up about 160, 170. The hole up by the green gets a little bit narrow, so it's definitely a demanding shot. Let's see how I do on this swing. So I hit this drive okay, a little bit farther left than I would like. Ended up in the left rough, but it's definitely the place you wanna miss it from this hole. This ball comes out a little bit hot, not the best swing ever. Left myself short of the green, so I had a little bit of a tough up and down because this green is really quite elevated. This is my third shot to the back bunker now because I hit it a little bit too far. Now, as I was telling you before, the great risk reward components of this hole, I've left myself like 10 feet here for a par. A little bit lucky on that par putt. Wasn't sure if it was gonna break or not. Ended it up pretty straight. That's hole number seven on my Dream 18 here at the Hamptons Golf Course. Also hole number seven. I made a par, made it much more difficult than I needed to. Had to get a little tough sand shot up and down, but on to hole number eight. Stay tuned for our next episode of this Dream 18 series. Wonder where I'll be next.